Are you serious? Dior dropped brand new foundation while I was away? Oh my gosh, you know what we're doing, girls. <laughs> Ladies, we are reviewing the brand new foundation and I'm not dropping one video. Mm -mm, sweetie, I have been gone for a hot minute. We are dropping two. Make sure you check out both of them. I can't wait to try this on, test this out, and give this product a score. Let's get into it. All right, if you guys are OGs to the channel, you know that this one right here is my favorite foundation of all time. This is the Forever Skin Glow from Dior. This is my shade, 1CR, love it. This is just, that's the one for me. I love that foundation. All right, so Dior just dropped two brand new foundations and we have them right here. This is the, again, Dior Forever Skin Glow Foundation. This is the hydrating version. Doesn't exactly say it on the front, but you just kind of have to know that the one here with the font going up and down is the original and this one is the hydrating version. It does say so on the back. This one right here with the matte, I like the difference right here. This one is the matte version with the frosted glass and again with the matte lid. I kind of like what they did with that. So again, this one is the original formula in the Glow Foundation. This one says 1CR. On the new versions of the foundation, there is no color shade, which really irks me. This bothers me quite a bit. Why? Like, you have room there, you could have printed it. I wanna know what my shade is. I don't wanna have to log in and like figure it out or, you know, like I just, I wanna know what my shade is. So why is that not printed there? That kind of bothers me. So I'm definitely curious to see and play with all of these. So this is going to be a two part video. I am going to do the first video using the two glow foundations, the original and the new hydrating one. So I'm gonna do half my face with one and half my face with the other because I wanna see what the difference is. And then I'm going to battle it out with the matte and the new hydrating foundation in the next video. So definitely stay tuned for that. Okay, so this is the original Forever Skin Glow in the color 1CR because that is my shade. I wanna let you guys know that I did pick up the color 1CR in both of the new versions of the foundation. Now, I just wanna bring your attention to Dior's shade range. They did up their game with their shade range. It is amazing. There are so many shades, it's phenomenal. But I'm used to going in and ordering this one because I know it, I love it, I order it all the time. It's like the one I go through probably the most. But when I went in to pick my shade, I'm like almost 10 shades over. And I was like, I'm fair as a ghost and I couldn't believe it. So I am super impressed with their new shade range, but that leaves the question, is this, the original one that I love so much, going to be the actual same shade as the brand new one? Are both 1CRs going to be the same? We're gonna find out. Okay, so I do know from using this forever, three pumps does my whole face. I'm gonna go in with two pumps. And we're just going to, I know that's going to be too much for half my face, but we're just going to test it out with two pumps. So I'm just gonna give this new one a shake. Again, this is the new one. This is the radiant version of the Forever Skin Glow. And I'm going to pump two pumps. Okay, that was my biggest fear. Again, this is a first impressions. The colors are not identical. This one is pulling a little bit darker. This one is pulling a little bit, almost all of, and it's a little bit lighter. Okay, so I've got two sponges. The pink one is going to be the original and the purple one is going to be the new hydrating version. So I'm just going to dip that in. All right, so I'm going to apply the original version to the left side of my face. Perfect color match. I go right over the lid. What I love about this foundation is that it just looks like skin. It's so beautiful, I absolutely love it. I'm just gonna pick up the rest of that product and then just go in underneath the eye. Okay, so that is the coverage that you get with the original. Now let's go in with the other sponge and pick up some of the hydrating version. So I'm just gonna pick up some of that product I do find that this one is kind of more emollient, like it's more wet to pick up, it spreads easier. So I'm just going to start by applying that just like I applied on the other side. So far, it actually looks a little bit darker, which is weird because it was lighter on the palette. Huh, I'm curious to see how that oxidizes down. It's very pretty, there's no scent. 
You guys know how I feel about that. For a plant-based formula, I'm actually super impressed. Don't worry about that, concealer will fix it. Just gonna go over my eye, under my eye, pick up the rest of that product, and just tap that on where I need it. Now for first impressions, it actually matches decent. It's like the tiniest shade difference. You guys can see it. I can see it on the monitor. It's not horrible. The shade difference isn't horrible. It is not identical though. I do need to point that out. Like I can see a clear definition, but again, you're always gonna go in and do your ears so everything matches. But this, it looks hydrating. Like definitely this side looks more dewy, more glowy. I can see like a light reflect. And I've got like so many lights here. But I can definitely see that. So this side is more hydrating looking. Again, I do like both sides. This is my favorite foundation. But this, this, I don't mind. I actually kind of like it. So I'm gonna go in with concealer and I'm gonna show you guys how this performs. I did pick this one right here. This is the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer. This is the shade 1.5N. And again, clearly I've used this one quite a bit. I'm just gonna go in, I'm going to apply the concealer where I would normally on both sides of my face. We're just gonna see how that wears with the new foundation, because I'm super curious. Normally, I would add contour before I put concealer down there, but it's just like force of habit. So I am gonna go in, this again is the new side. This is the hydrating side. And I'm just gonna pat out that concealer. So far, it's not picking up. I kind of really love it. The concealer worked amazing over top of the foundation. There's absolutely no complaints. It didn't pick up. It concealed beautifully, as you can see. That is impressive, actually. I'm gonna go in with the other sponge. I'm gonna do the exact same on the other side. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below what side is your favorite? Because you guys have seen this side clearly on the channel all the time because I use it like I don't know, maybe 70% of the time. <laughs> but I do have my favorite foundations that I rotate. This, I kind of like. I feel like it's pulling a little yellow when it comes to my neck and my jaw. Like this side, I just feel isn't as great of a color match as this side. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. It's time to score this product. All right, starting with application. This applied absolutely beautifully. I don't have anything negative to say about it. It just applied like butter. So good, 10 out of 10. Up next, pigment. I do have something to say about the pigment. I love that they've made the shade range so much more inclusive. I think that's fantastic. But my 1CR shade does look a little bit different. It's growing on me. I just feel like once I bronze, it's gonna be just not the right shade. It's a little bit, I think a little bit olive. I will definitely let you guys know if I find a different shade in this new version because this is so beautiful. I love it. So I'm gonna have to give this one an eight out of 10. I'm going to introduce a new category called finish and texture. This one, I'm going to have to say for the new product right here, it doesn't emphasize the pores as much as the old one. Not that I think the old one emphasizes my pores, but between the new one and the old one, this one and this one right here, especially, I kind of like the new one a lot more. So 10 out of 10, 100%, 10 out of 10. And finally, value. So this is $65 Canadian. I think it's actually a really good price. I'm gonna have to give this one an eight out of 10. Giving us a final score of 36 out of 40. All right guys, now should you buy it, wishlist it, or avoid it? Now there is something I do have to mention. I looked it up on the Sephora website. You can't actually get the original version anymore on the Sephora website, so it does look like they are replacing the original with this new hydrating version. I'm not mad at it. 
super love it. I think it's super cute. Kind of gives that really radiant, kind of doll-like finish. Loving that. But, there's a but. I still super, super love this foundation. <laughs> I'm sad that they're not going to have it anymore, but this is an amazing upgrade. All right, guys, I'm gonna have to recommend that you pick this one up because like this, this looks fantastic. I love it. All right, guys, don't forget to watch part two of this little mini series when I compare the matte version of the brand new Dior against this brand new hydrating glow version. All right, guys, if you love videos like this, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and subscribe to the channel. All right, until next time, mwah, live, love, and lip gloss. Bye, guys.